What is up YouTube? This is Angel here from Strength is First. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about two to one ratio of back exercises to ch bench press exercises and why you should be doing this. I think as a beginner, you can have the free reins of choosing whatever you want to do in terms of your program. But for lifters that have, I would say, over six years of consistent training experience, I think that if your bench press isn't where it is that you want it to be in terms of your goals, you need to do some program evaluation like me and find a way to pivot and do better. So I've been training for nine years. My bench, best bench with a kind of wideish grip, my ring fingers are on the ring and I benched 260 at a body weight of about 177 pounds. So that puts me in about the late intermediate or early advanced stages in terms of a strength standard survey scale, which isn't that much, but I had consistent anterior shoulder pain, elbow pain, wrist pain, and just things that would annoy me. And something didn't feel right running this program over, running these programs that just talked about bench frequency, bench intensity, bench volume, you gotta increase it. Oh, you gotta add more bench days. Something didn't feel right in terms of, okay, I'm doing all these things you're telling me, but why isn't my bench matching what you guys are saying online? So I was doing my regular YouTube binge in terms of finding out random information, finding out information relevant to my training. And then I came across some elite FTS content, which led me to the conjugate system, which led me to Matt Winning. And I saw his approach to training and it's like a light bulb just went off. I knew I had to try that for my next bench cycle or program that I'm going to make and implement his warm ups in terms of addressing my weaknesses. If you haven't if you don't know who Matt Wenning is, man, he I'll link his I'll link his socials in my description below, but you gotta give this guy a follow. Absolute genius in terms of strategic programming and just getting you better to the next level. And so just to sum up what I did with his with his um with his practices and frameworks with just two weeks of using his warm-ups and using his accessories to fix my weaknesses, I have no more an anterior shoulder pain. The pain went away and I actually feel a little bit stronger in terms of utilizing more triceps, more arms when in terms of bench press. Whereas before I knew I was using a lot of shoulder, I was definitely a shoulder bencher. I didn't feel it so much in my pecs. I was not really a chest bencher, but definitely was a heavy shoulder bencher. And I could feel my anterior deltoids always activating whenever I'm grinding sets or just even warming up. So when he implemented, when he talked about the bench press not really being a shoulder or pec exercise, well, it could be if you don't want to last in the sport, but he talked about it being an arm exercise, a tricep exercise, a lat exercise in terms of just making sure all of the main focus is on the arms and not in the shoulders and joints. So it made me really think about what I was doing or what I was doing inefficiently and making this pivot so that I can see if this works or not. In two weeks, it the results speak for itself. I don't really have any lingering shoulder issues and I'm just correcting my weakness slowly but surely. It talks about the bench press being one of the weaknesses is that you have a lot of tricep weakness, a lot of lat weakness, and a lot of scapula dyskinesia in terms of the muscles not being activated because he talks about a lot about like motor patterns in the front of the body and how it always activates the front muscles, so chest, anterior delts, uh, pec. These are always constantly stimulated and in order to get rid of this habit you need to activate the muscles you want to activate before you do the exercise which is the point of the winning warm-ups the point of the accessories and practicing the exercise in the correct manner with an appropriate grip so what are the things i'm doing now 
I'm narrowing my grip inside the rings. So I'm about, I would say my most comfortable grip now is thumb away from the inside knurling. But if I do close grip accessories, I'm definitely finger on the knurling or maybe even one finger in into the knurling. I'm definitely rotating my tricep, my lats, and my scapula exercises. And most importantly, I'm just staying consistent. Again, that's always been working for me. I've been gaining strength over the years, but I think it's time that I start elevating my status, elevating what I think I can do, and just keep pushing uh, my bench press to the most, to the max number it can go. Just increase my bench press max. So hope this information is helpful for you guys, and I'll talk to you guys next time.